Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to install Google AdSense on your Webflow website. It's a really simple process. So the first thing you want to do is go into your Google AdSense dashboard, go to the ads, and then over here, you're going to have your website. And then all you do is you press the get code button right up here. And then with this code, all you do is press this copy button. It's going to copy it. And then you just have to paste it in between the head tags in your Webflow website. And then in your Webflow dashboard, go to the site settings. And then from here, all you do is you go down to custom code and then paste in the code over here. I already have it pasted, but I'll show you again. You just do um, paste it in like so and make sure you press the save button. And then you can see the code is in here, but make sure you also press the publish button so that it actually gets pushed to the live site. And then I'm on my website over here. Ignore the design. It's actually like not complete right now. There's a lot of things being edited still, but you can see on the side here that we actually have the ads showing up on the left and the right. And I'm using the auto ads in the Google AdSense settings. If you want to tweak what these ads look like on your Webflow website, go ahead and press the edit button. And then from here, you can see that there is going to be this auto ads button and you can see there's some overlay ads. So this is going to be the sidebars that you saw. I have it checked. You can have like a sticky anchor at the top or you can have pop up ads. I find these personally intrusive and I don't like using them. But if you want to use them, you just press the check button and then you just go ahead and enable them by going back and pressing apply to site. Now, if you don't want to have automatic ads and you want to have full control of where your ads show up instead, don't go to the by site, press the uh, by ad unit tab up here. Here you can see that there are display ads that you can go ahead and add. So if I go ahead and press this, you can see that there's a few different ads I can apply here. There's these square ones, there's horizontal ads, and then there's also these vertical type ads and then you can set whether they're responsive or if they're fixed on all sizes and if you want to know what the most common ad sizes are just press this learn more button here a new tab will open up and then you just press this most common fixed ad sizes here and then google is going to show you what the most common ad sizes that people use so you can go ahead and copy these dimensions once you create some custom ad sizes all you do is you press this get code button and then you can see that the code is here and we just copy it and then paste it into the section on our Webflow website using the HTML embed. And what that looks like is you drag an embed code over here where you can paste HTML, you paste that ad code, go ahead and press save and then publish the site and you should start to see the ad show up under this little widget here. And if you want to hide this HTML ad code on smaller screen sizes, all you do is you go to your smaller screen size and go ahead and just press hide over here, display none. And now it's not going to show up for the smaller screen sizes. So that's how you integrate Google AdSense on your Webflow website. Really simple process, especially if you're using the auto ads. If you need help with any of your Webflow projects, be sure to contact me using my email down in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.